next morning, we woke on the staggeringly beautiful Bolivian High Plains. So we couldn't see any of this in the dark, but it's absolutely breathtaking. Look at it. So it all my breath away. There's no breath to take away. We're at 14,000 feet, according to your gizmo. 14,000? 14,006 feet. What's that? This measures your sats. The old casualty. They always do this. Somebody gets wheeled in, they put one of these on their finger. And I think it's something to do with how much oxygen there is in your red blood cells. Because it's always, if it's less than 98 or 99, you've had it. And Tina Hobley comes. What's yours? 87. That's less. Much so less. Where's, where's Tina Hobley then? Do you want, just try yours. I bet you can't get it to go less than 87. That's how ill I am. 89. 89? Well, t you're, you're nearly dead. I am dead. 88, I'm not much better. If you went into a doctor's surgery in England with sats of 88, they'd put you in hospital. 84. In fact, the only thing in a dodgier state than me were the modifications on my car. Uh, we're there. Yeah. 2006 feet. <laughs> we are now higher than the highest peak in Europe. And we're still driving. Soon, the altitude would become a big issue. As we climbed, the air became thinner and thinner. Fifteen thousand four hundred. No climbing. We are definitely the highest motorists in the world. Apart from George Michael, obviously. Alan's really got to think ahead with no clutch. And he's got to think ahead with a brain starved of oxygen. What will be frightening is when I come to need to grab first to get up a steep bit. It's changing down is harder. You've got to guess how high the engine will need to be revving and slot the gear lever in without a clutch. James, too, was having problems. Oh, God, chaps, my transfer box is jammed. But these niggles were overshadowed by the big one. Up at this altitude, this engine is really struggling. You see, for every litre of fuel vapour it gets through, it needs 14 litres of air. And there isn't any. So it's just like me. <laughs> and that means it's just so down on power. Up here, James's car had, at best, 20 horsepower. And as we climbed higher, we started to suffer as well. The breathlessness now is pretty acute. Just talking is hard work. I'm starting to get up. I'm to bit. I'm feeling really quite weird. The terrain levelled out, so we pulled over to catch what we could of our breath. Do you feel sort of drunk, but it's not pleasant? Yeah. It's all, exactly it's like, that. My whole head feels like yeah. I've got run spin. It was time for drastic action. Cyanide. No. Viagra. Hey, is it time? Apparently, Viagra for reasons unknown to science, stops you having an edema in your lung. I thought it was more the trouser department he concentrated on. Well, that might be a side effect of what you're about to do. Down the hatch. Here we go. Nothing's oh, happening. Oh, it doesn't work. Nothing's happening. I can't follow that. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. I even wink. <sighs> I'm going to get a massive neck if I don't uh, have some of that. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> that will save our lives. <laughs> oh God! Oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> Just taken by on top of the antis. Yeah. Sadly, though, it didn't seem to have any effect at all. I'm getting a headache, and I'm feeling sick. Come on, come on. The big question now was this: which would give out first, the cars or the men? Come on. Come on. Please pull. Every gear change is so critical now that I get tense about it. That raises my heart. 
and then I'd up to do all the more. Still there, Hammond? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm having to go slow because the air is changing up to third. I don't think I'll make it. Okay, mate, we'll slow down. We're a team up here because this isn't funny. God, Jeremy's talking about being a team. That's for the altitude. At 16,700 feet, the Toyota broke down again. My transfer box has just gone. James and I stopped to help, and then we couldn't get going again. It, the engines just aren't getting any air. That's all. There's just no... Uh, James can't get his started. I can't get mine started. I haven't got any air to work. Once we get the Range Rover going, and that's the most likely to start, we can get everything started. Right. On three. Can we move it? Two. Eight. And go. go. Pushing a Range Rover at this altitude damn near killed us. But eventually the big beast fired, and once again, the most unreliable car in the world got the others going as well. Go on. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. My, my lips are now tingling. I get the feeling something's got to give soon. Jesus Christ, my head. At 17,200 feet, we pulled over again. Yeah, you can bite off pieces of it and chew it. It's like lung nectar. <laughs> <laughs> 